Praise the Lord and a very good evening to you. Thank you for joining us once again for another episode of the Angaza Show. My name is Pastor Tim Wangi and thank you for always joining us. And today we want to delve on a subject matter that is very key in our day. I know people want to get married and people are settling very quickly, but also the rate of divorce is also on the increase. It's like those who are getting in and those who are exiting are in equal number. The saddening part is that a lot of divorce courses are, are, are registered in church. That is the mystery. And these are people who possibly came to church or are part of the church. Some even had a church wedding, but the divorce is high. But we want to look on the other part, which is the preparation before settling. I believe things don't go wrong, but things begin wrong. And so we are finding a lot of calm we stay. We are finding a lot of people, people get pregnant, and the next thing they decide, you know what, I'll sharp at a ball, so any wife, many has he, and they begin to live together. And there are so many cases, marriages are not working, and majority of the young couples, majority are either fighting or wanavumiliana, kwa sababu imekuwa ngumu. Right now, they say uh, a lady, for any lady in Kenya, in married today, by the time she's 45, her chances of being a single mother are very high. And so we want to ask ourselves, ni wapi, ni nini mbaya, nini naendelea, ni nini atufanyi right? And we also want to delve on the subject matter of just asking, um, when you do traditional wedding, whatever they call rorashio, is that a wedding? When you go for a civil, uh, you know, to the AG, is that a wedding? What is the importance of you know, just going through marital counseling. And who are the people who need to counsel you? What is the importance of preparation? Anyway, in the conversation and Takwa now, this is a real vibe and a real conversation. And I'm so excited because I have a young couple in the house and Piani Mapasin and we're young. And I'm not too real. to be real. And so we'll be having this conversation. And so let's begin this conversation immediately after the musical break, uh, you know, done by DJ Taf. So welcome back and thank you very much for joining us. Come on to join Sai. The importance of foundations in marriage, especially the place of marriage counseling. For All Saints Cathedral, this amazing ambience and facility where we are able to shoot our show every every day that we are here. And so, with me, Nikona Guest, these are the resident pastors, Mavuno Church and Waka. Now, many marriages and yes, in a heart and is also young. So, to turn Amen, amen. Amen. My name is Joe, Joe yes. Matogo. Yes. Uh, currently, uh, with my wife, we pastor Mavuno Ruaka. And uh, married, 10th year. 10th year? Yeah. Oh, okay. 10th year. To school judge in a beard. Ah! We could talk at the combo leo. Hey. I'm really amazed. It's good to be on set today. Wow, yeah. wow. Amen. Yeah, amen. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, and my name is Nyamu, Nyamu Matogo. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and we're really glad to be here, Pastor T. Thank you for having us. How has your journey been? 10 years is such a long time. Yeah. Yeah. It's a long time. It's a long time. It's been... It's been the best to the best way to ex to describe is a roller coaster. Yeah. Okay. We have been through the ups and the downs wow. of marriage. Uh -huh. And and truly speaking, I like e e story to even it, it's very important mm -hmm. because you know, just because you have a good foundation doesn't mean mm -hmm. Yeah, but for us what what has really helped us in our marriage is that we started right. Okay. Yeah. We just started right. Mm -hmm. And we the, the things to make we through, eh? mm. most marriages zinye kunga zime break. Okay. True. Yeah. So yeah. just by God's grace mm. that we are here, we are able to walk even with couples because God has even called us to the marriage ministry. Yeah. Yeah, at Kona, we, 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 we have a marriage ministry called Couple on a Journey. Mm. Okay. So what we do, we help couples, married couples and uh, dating couples journey towards happy, healthy, and godly relationships. Okay. 
Yeah, wow. so I'm super excited. Well, it's topic here, yeah, in primary yeah. talk. In, in uh, heartbeat. In heartbeat, it's close <laughs> to our heart. But don't get a wife. How yeah. did you meet this guy? When was it, Jumnaka? You know, you guys look still young. So, say, say, Mati Tulongia, because what work of 45. Yeah. So, how did you meet? You know, ladies have the details. Yes, it's so, true. So, we get on my head. No, no, clearly, by yes. the way. So, we met in church. Mm. Okay. Uh, at Mavuno Church, we were both serving in our discipleship program. We were both serving in our discipleship program. So, as leaders, we used to have this hangout. We used to hang out. We were all single. So, you know, when you're single, you have a lot of time to hang out. So, yeah. we were at one of our friend's house. And then I had arrived there earlier. So Nikafika, then he came and sat next to me. And then we started talking. We talked, people thought we had met before. Wow. But that was the first day we met. So it wasn't until like love at first sight. I was like, this is just one of the guys like everyone else. Yeah, yeah so that's how we met. Yeah. yeah. And you just connected. Yes, we just connected. Yeah. It was like a look our best thing. He mm -hmm. was just a good friend. He was very tall. He was still, I remember the one, the one thing people could say is that he's cool. So he's just a cool looking guy. And I think he maintained that. <laughs> How old were you by the time you guys were like, we want to get married? I was, by then I was 30, right? No, we got married when we were 30. I think we met when we were we 28. We met, yeah, I, when I was 28. Yeah, okay. and yeah. I was 26. You're yeah. 26. Yeah. So I'm looking at that journey and it's like majority, that, that's like the age majority, yeah. people, young people settle. In yeah. fact, to keep it at 30, yeah. 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 So how how was it? How was the foundation? How did you know that this is the one, and now I'm ready to spend yeah. eternity with her? Yes. Good, good question. Actually, what helped us is that first of all to limit church circles. Eh? We were serving together. Even even I was getting to know her with friends. So we used to go for pizza things. Nini nini nini. But it was on a group setting. Yeah. So I was able to understand this person. As in, nilimjua before nifikiri, like, ni, I make up my mind that, you know what, she's the one. Mm. By the time I was asking her out, eh, I knew in my heart of hearts, yani, this is, this is the one, this is the lady that I'm going to spend my, my life with. Yeah. Yeah, so it helped, eh? It did. Yeah. I think we used to say, socialize before you specialize. Yeah. Okay. Right now, when I think about it, I'm like, there was wisdom in that, because yeah. we used to hang out in these groups. You know, you can pretend very little when you're hanging out with, the, with, you know, with a bunch of people. We are playing games, and you know, the competitive, and I talk, and you're like, wee, this is yeah. a... So loser, would yeah. say, you know, and actually clear feelings. So that just hanging out with many people really helped us. Yeah. So we socialized before we specialized. So mm. by the time he was asking me out, I think I said, yeah, we, I'll be your girlfriend. Yeah. And then we didn't even date for long. We mm. dated for 11 months okay. before we got married. That's now, including, like, including everything. Okay. You yeah. Know? Everything yeah. that means planning the, the way door. Preparations, uh, meeting the folks. Wow. Yeah. 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 But okay. we had been friends for a little, I think about a year or so. Yeah. Yeah. So that really helped because, you know, I, I knew his heart mm -hmm. even before I started thinking, you know, this guy, you know, I, I could date him. Yeah. So that really helped. Yeah. Mm. So at least uh, you, uh, um, what I'm hearing is that there was that cafe of becoming friends mm. and all that. Yeah. Mm. Did you at any point encounter maybe the pressure in the agitness and into tunaza summarize after you know after when you visit foxes yeah. even the foxes now tell you sasa ni wako you yeah. know there is like a psychology of you know yeah. we've cleared and they even call it sasa mebaki ile sherehe ya kanisa you know it looks like that, that celebration is not as important yeah. did you face that maybe that ka pressure temptation i think for us hiyo kitu hata haiko kwa akili okay cuz you know just being in church remember we are serving in church a discipleship eh? Mm -hmm. a discipleship um, uh, program. Now, for us, we knew it that before we get to even to, to even anything intimate, we have to go through a process, a primary talk called uh, DOA. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you kitu not kwa akili. Ilikuwa kwa akili. Yeah. Yeah. But of course to know na elop. Unakuta mse mmepata na mavuno. Eh lakini mnakuja me I passed the life church. Mnakuja life church ka couple. Mm. Lakini hapo in between hakuna yeah. story. Hakuna mtu anajua when you got married yeah. but umekuja cuz is that. Yeah. You know like people are dating, you know one gets pregnant and mm. the best thing they do is leave the church yeah. yes. and go to another church it's as true. a couple. Yes. And there were no foundation. Have you dealt with such cases? Yes, actually yeah. we have. Yeah. yeah, because especially if you, we've encountered people who are both serving in church. 
and then you know they, they, they fall and then the girl gets pregnant. The first thing they do is to leave the church because there's rejection, you know. A lot of them face rejections and so they come to churches which they're like, let's go to a church where no one knows us, mm. we start all new. Mm -hmm. But then because the foundation was never right, their marriage really struggles. We've met them, you know, we've counseled them. Their struggles are like, I don't know whether we are together because I got pregnant. So there are even questions of commitment for, are we together in this because there was a baby? You know, the foundation is quite shaky. And then before they overcome the foundation issues, so you spend a lot of the first years not enjoying the marriage, but now building the foundation. And that now becomes this little enjoyment. There's more endurance than enjoyment in their first years of marriage. Yeah, but I think they, I've seen some who make a choice, they're like, we're here, we, we have to do this, then they're more intentional. It's like doing prima, premarital counseling back, you know, mm. you're in re, like backwards. Okay. Because you're here, you're married, there's a child either on the way or one who's already walking around, and then you have to say, let's build a foundation for our marriage. Mm -hmm. And for me, I just think of it as a house. Imagine building a house, and then you're like, inyumbatai kaipoa. It's more work than should you have just built a good foundation to begin with. Yeah. yeah, yeah, because I think it happens a lot in churches. I don't know what you say to the dudes, because sometimes it's easier for the dude to elope. I don't know, because you don't carry the pregnancy. Mm. And just go to another town and begin afresh. Mm. I don't know what's your advice, because we've seen these cases a lot. Mm. Uh, especially in, in our age today, I think the, the society is so sexualized. Mm. And we've lost the place of sex. Mm. And of course, the consequences is either abortion mm. or you keep the baby. Yeah. And we're seeing a lot, even on the frontline church, mm. a lot of... Um, are people just, you know, being caught off guard? Mm. What, what is the advice, especially to the men? Actually, you know, um, it, it's, it's interesting because we are actually handling something, yeah. something of the, of the, of the, of the magnitude. Eh? This is Unapata uh, say like, okay, it has happened, they are pregnant, and now pressure from parents, like, okay, now you guys need to move in together. Mm. Yeah, you need to sing this thing. And at some point, the folks, they're happy because they're mm. happy. But at the end of the day, nobody is looking at their marriage. You know, yeah. so it's uh, it's that space to tell them. You know what, sour mistake may happen, but you can't go on like this. You know, take a take take a step back and and you know understand what you're getting yourself into, because by the way, we don't people out there don't understand why they need to prepare to get married. That's true. Yeah, unapata you're walking with somebody and like I miss konga na joeki too. Mm. So as you continue walking with them, as you continue to show them the, you know, what the Bible, what is required of them, mm. you know, in marriage, it opens their eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Natumekuwa na spaces where unapata, unapata a couple has come for prima. And truly speaking, unajua, these people are not supposed to be together. So as, as people who are, we are carrying them through this thing, to number two point blank, you guys are not ready. I don't think you guys need to get married. And we're okay with that. Mm. No, no. So to Nambia, go, go figure it out. You remember that, mm. uh, that couple that yeah. after seven months, we told them, you guys go. They came back after seven months and that's when they were ready. Okay. So mm. Kunai story Pia, people get do premarital. They have a date to get married. Now na tick the box. Premarital, only tick the box. Okay. What happens when you come in, issues arise. Meshali mm -hmm. supplier, nini, nini, nini. Mm -hmm. So our advice should be that guys should not, should just come open-minded. When you're doing premarital, you need to understand that ikitu ineza work, ineza kwasaku work. Okay. Yeah, so, so, and then give, give your time to learn. You have to apply what you're learning. See yeah. unafanya premarital this month, next month munawana. <laughs> Akuna nini, akuna application. So, so premarital basically is, it's also an analysis phase. Yes. Like, chochote kinaiza teneka. Yeah. And many people, I, I like what you've said, many people come, you know, at my visit was mm. So the next box we go for premarital. Mm. Then the next box is the big wedding. You know? Yeah. And you know, I read someone which was very powerful, and someone said many people prepare for the wedding. Not but very marriage. few people prepare for the marriage. That's true. That's and, true. Uh, you know, when I used to rap, Nikonawambia, show in Anzang after wedding show. 
Because the real show, you know, the people prepare for that wedding show yeah. event, but the real show begins immediately yeah. after the crowd has left, it's after so the true. gifts, mm. and now you are left with your woman and the next, or your man, and the next question mm. is otherwise. Yeah. So some of the basic things, you know, some of the basic things and foundational things that people need to check out. And what I'm also getting, let me even begin from here. When is the right time to begin premarital? Is it after visiting parents? Mm. Is it before visiting parents? Is it a month to the wedding? When is the right time? May I say this. Ukiona dem amachali una like, yeah? And you feel like this thing could go somewhere. That is the right time to have yeah. premarital. Because mm. you don't want to invest so much into this relationship. I love when I realize, ah, ikito easy work. You spend two years, one year, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. But premarital is just to show you, are we compatible? Are we right for each other? Mm -hmm. Do you carry the same values that I carry? Yeah. You know? Because mm -hmm. I'm a faith-based. Unajua, like, do you have the same faith that I do? No, no. So you're able to judge, you're able to sift your relationship from the word go. Mm -hmm. No, And that's what happened with us. Because this is to become maybe to go like, ah, I know this girl, I've seen her serving, I know her friends, I know what she's all about, I know her family. And to come up, when we did Ndoa, after some time to come up on dates, so I could get married. But we were like, I know her, like, like we, our foundation is so mm -hmm. firm. To yeah. pull date, yeah, like we were supposed to get married in... We in, started with August. With August, to yeah. yeah. nini, so to kuja January. <laughs> Because we knew, we knew for us, we were ready to get married. Yeah. You know, yeah. you say something very powerful, which um, uh, I believe churches mob then work on the wrong structure. Sadly true. Yes. Yeah. Because mobs in Akwanga, Muliana um, Kwanzazi, mm. now you need time, we mm. prepare you for marriage, mm. and then after that, uh, we can join you. Mm. Because what, what, what I'm getting is, uh, premarital is an analysis phase. Yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's, it's not the deep search of each other. Mm -hmm. And what is also coming out is there are people who settled mm. because of what will people say. Mm. Yes. Nishak peleka home, ni peleka home, tushambi ya pasi, saitu concession number seven. Na tume realize boss, ni katu yuko pamoja. So meaning that there are many marriages mm. where people settled because of external That's pressures. Yeah. And from the Incept, inception of things they knew, ikitu mm. ime daily before he answer. That's true. That's true. Ini commandments. Yeah. Before he, <laughs> before he <laughs> before could deliver. Have we, and and what, what can we do in such a case? What do I make to say? Say, what I make to say? Marriage, two, three years. Kabisa they knew it was because of the people. Mm. How do we fix it? Wow. Is there hope? There is yeah. hope. Yes. Because number one, God is a, is a God of redemption. And you know, marriage is his plan. Like, that, that's the first spiritual foundation of marriage. No one else came up with this idea of marriage other than God. Mm -hmm. And we believe just because you've been in a marriage two to three years and we've seen God do it. You know, sometimes it's the fact that people did not have a greater understanding of marriage. They mm. thought, we're coming together to make each other happy. Yeah. Mm. You know, we've been doing this for two years, it's not been working. Mm. So we dig deep and we say, you know what, this is, this is the reason you're here. Mm. So how can we, like I was saying, und undig this foundation that you have and build a new one. And then you, you start seeing things change. So for anyone who's in that place, it's to say, go back, go back to the... You know, go back to the very start and even address why did we, why did we get married? Mm -hmm. And then you just acknowledge and you confess we got married for the wrong reasons. Mm -hmm. But we can no longer continue to stay married for the wrong reasons. Mm -hmm. We want to write a different story, we want to tell a different story. Yeah. yeah. Is marriage a decision? Will you put it as under a decision? Uh, does God speak, you know, your part Mazenangoja God a bonge? Like I, I it's, I don't know, it's CJ but a way of doing it. Like, uh, let me just speak to, from myself, my own perspective. Me ni mekuwa, nilikuwa nga na very stable relationship, by the way. Dem to me date Rizuri, she's like, she's a, she was an amazing woman of God, nini. But everything was right. But because at some point, like, nilikuwa nga naskia, like, I was searching deep down in my heart. Na nilikuwa nga na, like, I, there, were, there were pointers. 
So for me, I would say that God and a direct steps, direct your steps. If you look, if you, if you seek him, he will direct your steps. So me, like at some point that relationship didn't work and uh, I, I met, I met, I met Nyamu and Lili Kuanga Tuna feel. This is a, this is a, this is a, this is a risk, number one. I know God is in it. I'm willing to take. So there's that aspect of the Holy Spirit leading you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But as to whether God at Akwambia and the who you, mm. I don't know about that. But there's a way that ukiwa mm -hmm. no I trust God at Akusho and yeah, and the Lea Kuenda. Okay. No, no. But and also when you're on the wrong path, when you're on the wrong path, God be at Akusho. Due to make one these these are couple, there is one there's a lady that we were working with, Ali Kongana at a show that she knew, she had, she knew that she was not supposed to get married. Ali Kongana skia, there was a voice telling her, red light, hapa, papa nini. Mm. But I can ignore. Mm. And it ended up in divorce. Okay. So kuna hizo ma promptings. Okay. I the, 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 the red lights. Eh? Yes. And basically, it means as young in deep, in depth. Eh? Yeah. Because mm. sometimes when people are, um, emotional sometimes their eyes are blind oh yeah someone said love is not blind it's only that men become blind to love that is true. Mm. and i and i know we've seen people who have seen all the red lights yeah. but something just tells them any kama when you yes when you ninja you know and, we, and we've heard of cases like mm. that so in the next segment i want us to look basically on some of the foundational teachings mm. some of the foundational teachings and maybe you've said you guys your relationship has been through a roller coaster mm. i really want to hear the cost apart and the roll apart. <laughs> 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 so that, because you know, someone said the yeah. secrets of men are in their stories. Yeah. And maybe there could be a young couple thinking that, you know, what we are facing is hell. Yeah. Just hearing what you've managed to conquer yeah. and how you've conquered. Yeah. I believe it will be, um, it will be an inspiration. Sure. So, while I'm bomb not to join Saizi, we are discussing, this is, ve it's, it's a serious matter. Mm. And God is the initiator of marriage. And mm. any time the foundations of family are destroyed, mm. you have no society. Mm. And this is what I've discovered. You can make all the money, you can build all the houses, but I want to tell you the truth, when you have a destabilized marriage mm. without peace, nothing will ever make sense. It's such a joy when you go back to a home and not a house. Mm. It's such a boy, joy when you go back to a wife and not a knife. It's such a joy <laughs> when you go back to a husband, a man that you know you can fall back. It's such a joy when you can fight outside and find someone who can embrace you inside yeah. instead of fighting outside and fighting inside. What we may ignore mambo ya marriage counseling. Now they say kwa marriage on asemanga. This is the only place unapeangwa unapeangwa DL before unapeangwa certificate before yeah. eh, before to win your dad. Zero experience. Eh, zero experience. Yeah. So you learn through the process. Yeah. I think that's why we're here. So we're gonna take some short musical break, and of course we'll be right back just to continue this conversation. Thank you very much if you're joining us for this time. We bless the Lord for you. This is Angaza Show. We come to you every Saturday from 6 p.m. all the way to 7, and we thank you. We are discussing about foundations and marriage matters, beginning well and making sure that things are working. I believe kuna wisdom. Thank you to DJ Ta for those amazing mixes. And so, Nikoa Paivi na Mapasiwa Wili from Mavuno, you know, a couple, and they, they are doing this journey with people. And they've been in this journey for 10 years. You know, when you look at them, you think, ah, Anikali or Anajana. But you don't have to come to honeymoon face. Thank you. God. Yeah. Grace yake. So, I said, I'm going to have a roller coaster. I said, I'm going to have the first three years ni Niliambo the first year ni honeymoon, mm. uh, the next two years ni miaka ya, ma, ya, ya kujuana, mm -hmm. apo, apo ndo mamasku tolewa. Mm -hmm. So ina kuanga real, unambia ngo marriage, kipita the third year mkosawa. Mm -hmm. Alafu nasikia kifika ten years, sasa ina kuanga, kuna pali unaenda. Zaza muko. So how has it been? Maybe one, one, one challenge yenye uneza sema, eh, hey, ni aje, mm. hindu ilikuwa challenge. The one that comes to my mind is, pastor T kuna time tulikuwa tumesota. Yeah. yeah. And in total and utter broke, we were homeless. Okay. Yeah. Like homeless. Mm -hmm. Like took one a home. And it was it was really tough. Cause um 
John kuna tafuta job, yeah. hakuwa anapata job at all. Alikuwa anaenda ma interviews. Kuna kitu na kampu. Interview ya kwanza ya pili mm. ina follow through. I know. Mm. And then busy kwa I was I was I was in business then. Haikuwa na like kuna na letter anything. So we we were living in one place we couldn't for the afford rent to Kahama. Mm. Tukaenda Ronga. <laughs> Hey, yeah. Ronga, ronga. Ronga. You experience it too. <laughs> what are you Experience it too. Nigeria movie. To come here, Ronga, you buy any Nigerian movies. You imagine that we can see walls that we can see. It was so dramatic. At that point, we were like, I think we had what seven k between me, between us. Rent it was ten. To come here and check it, seven k. I fiki. And I think were we behind on rent? No, we were not behind. We were not behind. Tu kasa matuchukwezi vitu zetu zote, tupeleke kwa mare, tutambia mtu, alafu. Storage. Your storage ishe, tuweke kwa storage. So we used to, we used to be squatters. Na hop hop. Tuna hop hop, tunenda kwa urela, tunaka hapo two days, tuwe sabi, ah, tumenda kwetu. We just go to an relative place. And it was so hard. And I remember just, going through that together any like to we were stuck together yeah. physically to go to nenda kila mali pamoja but pia tuko tunavumiliana so when we meet couples and they're like oh you know i want to leave because there's no money we are like eh, 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 eh. we have been through this money comes and goes i don't know that, that's a very important point ju saizu kiangalia even on socials eh, is like there is an emphasis kama mwanaume ana pesa Wachana na yeah. Many ladies are looking for financially stable. Mm. And they are saying, atuwezi uh, teseka home, na tuteseke kwa ndoa. Mm. So, so, as a lady, what kept you standing? Of course, kulikuwa na voices. Yeah. Of course, kulikuwa na options. Yeah. How did you view your man at that time? Knowing that, yes, he's working hard, mm. uh, but nothing is coming forth. In this materialistic world, mm. uh, how did you survive and what advice will you give to ladies when you're not after mtu wakona everything. Yeah. I think, let me just start with the ladies who are looking for a man who has everything. There's beauty in building together, Pastor T. Yani ile ya tulikuja, tukiwa tu hivi, tuko hapo pa, tumejenge kitu pamoja. There is a closeness you get when you do things together, including building your wealth, that you can't get when ukikuja tu pati umse ya kuwapo. There is the partnership. And if your if your if your husband is struggling, if your partner is struggling, is he doing his best? Me, I could see his pain. And let me tell you, if you think you as a lady you're suffering because your husband is providing, the pain that he's carrying mm -hmm. is 100 times greater than the one you carry because it's his responsibility. So anaona, yeah, I'm a fail, I love what make fail. So this is what I could say: stick with your man as long as he's trying everything, you know, and like he can. Kufa na mtu wako, by the way, because money goes and comes. You want to be there, say le akukua na kitu, mm -hmm. but you also want to be there. Because Joe says, by the way, I can see it. He says, because you stuck with me when I had nothing. Mm -hmm. Right now, like, you na kitu, mm -hmm. by the way, you're my priority. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to take you places, I want to take you for holidays. Ile vitu ya nyewe, atunge afford. Mm -hmm. There are people who lost their jobs in COVID. Yeah, kuna, kuna wana umesa hizo na kula mshare a wife. Mm -hmm. Na siya tia wataki kuwa kati. Mm. Pia kuna wasesa hizi, the pressure to provide with the current economy is so hard. Mm. As a man, mm. what was going through your mind and what kept you going mm. irrespective of these battles? When you start your marriage in the right foundation, that thing builds you. Kwa sababu mimi ni kungana jua, early years of our marriage, uh, tukunga tunonge na nyamu, we said, you know what, we are in this together. Mm. We are in this together. So ni kungana jua, kuna mali ya naenda, in as much as it kunga hard. Yeah. Now, uh, she played her role because like young girl, you know, she doesn't stop becoming a helper just because in a job. Mm. Unona, she played her role in being a helper. You know, bad wali kunga na ni support in that in that dark moment. And the other thing is that being a provider, unesa kosa do. I mean, life happens. Mm. Una, you have a, you have money, unakosa, but that doesn't stop you from being a provider. You're providing protection. Mm -hmm. you're, you're providing spiritual direction. You're providing emotional direction. Unona, when things are hard, it is me providing that safety 
emotional safety. Mm. So you still provider. Ni vile tu machali wengine wanafikiria don dio kila kitu. Yeah. So the 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 kama wanafanya do ina kuwa like a god. So if I don't have money nothing I, I don't have anything. Mm. So for me ni liko ngani very very good that in as much as akuna do hapa hivi other areas of provision they are not lucky yeah. they are not lucky yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so so that is the one advice ni zambi did, did it damage you as a man did you feel like you've gone through some mild depression in yeah. that season absolutely i think like you to me hit to me hit my reset you know we've been in a space again we had broken dreams Shut, yeah shut, shattered down. the word is shattered dreams mm. And in that, look at 2017, the darkest years of our lives, mm. because we underwent shattered dreams. To reach up a reset one, one more time. What do you mean by shattered dreams? Now we had a five-year plan that was looking so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So out of the country, nini, mm. and to the T. In five years, <laughs> and then something happened we had to come back home yeah. and we came back to nothing with mm -hmm. nothing a second time yeah. unaona and that time yani tulikuwa hapa tuko tuko like eh tumechapa research tena but it was hard because now uh, 10 days later coming back to to the country my dad passes on wow and he was a pillar mm -hmm. yani yani kwanza yeye pia li feel Sana. so tulikuwa in and out of depression. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Unaona anachukua tani yake depression yeah, mimi tunashindwa eh? So it was so hard but but now in that state it was god this idea. Mm -hmm. Kuna vitu zingine umeachilia na wasema you know what god cheza kama eh. So that also that spiritual foundation really carried us through that period. Mm -hmm. Because Tuko solo as a couple when you're going through stuff. Ndiyo mko na family beste, members, yeah. mko na mabeste, but iki tu mko peke yenu. Mm. Unona? Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, kuna that, that, that space of depression, uh, remember we had to seek for help yeah. mm, to, to understand to. what's going on. Mm. You know, it's mm. amazing because I remember I met a secular artist who did a church wedding. Mm. I'll not mention his name. Mm. And um, we were in a meeting and the wife was there. And the wife said, marriage yetu inge kwa imeisha kitambo is pokuwa ni marriage counseling. And this is what she said, the wisdom we got out of the counseling mm. has kept our marriage. And I looked mm. at this secular artist yeah. because na believe counseling the wisdom That's yeah. true. na principles we do not apply it's day so to true. day. Because yeah. yeah. sometimes na semanga, kuna taimata ndoa uchapa muamba, unakuta ule anko mlevi ndo wanapiga advice. Mm. Sin tasesa. Nule anko kamnyue so yun wana kaisha dao nambi hapa na hapa na bogu wakuja chini. Kuja hatu hii mambo ni kuongea. So what are some of the, what are some of the very foundational teachings and principles you feel? If someone is dating today, ile tu kuambia ni aje, anze ni kurisachi kitu, anze ni kuiso mapamoja, ikitu ito wapeleka mbali. Yes. I think I remember when the jol kwa nongea, our primarital counseling, we had an event called When Life Happens. Okay. So they gathered all of us who were so mm. eager to get married. You know, we were eager, we were like, eh. Yeah. Then they had older couples who had been married for like <laughs> maybe 20. 15, 20 years. Then they sat them up there. Then they shared When Life Happens. Wow. So the, I remember there's a couple who, the first wife died. Mm -hmm. And then there was a couple who had been in a similar situation where they lose everything financially. Wow. And then I remember we were just all of us there thinking, do we really want to get married? Mm. But they <laughs> imagine see that serious. After that session, Machali Walienda Uko, Mademo Wakaka and Depa and Dingine. And the conversations we were having is it's never that serious. We don't have to get married. But do you know what that session prepared us? It prepared us for when life happened to us. Mm -hmm. So we knew it is normal. Because what happens is that people sign up for marriage and they think just because I have this band, eh? Vitu zita align. Unajua, we'll get married, we'll have beautiful children. Yeah. And I think even then there was a couple who had never had children. Okay. And they were asking us, fine, you want to get married? 
you get married and then you don't get children, what mm. happens is your marriage over. Mm. You get married and then mkosedo, ndo imeisha. Mse I was like, you know, wana kuchapa reality ya, this is what it looks on the other side. Mm. So just even being exposed to the realities of marriage before you get in is very important. Mm. That's number one. Pay the spiritual foundations okay. that you understand that God is the person who created marriage. You know, it says in the Bible in Genesis yeah. to that he created them man and woman. And so. you know, he brought them together and he made them one. Yeah. So you understand that isi kitu ya gava, isi kitu ya, you know, contrary to popular opinion, ini kitu ya God. Mm -hmm. And there's, there's, there's a way God designed it. And if he's a designer of marriage, then he, he has a way. He understands it. Yeah, he understands mm -hmm. it and there's a way it needs to be mm -hmm. done. Mm -hmm. So those are the things I feel like we know what say what we get. There's no the oneness that God desires. So when life happens, was an eye opener. It was such an eye opener. And that also gave you the strength to go through when now life happened exactly, on your side. Exactly. <laughs> yes. That's and true. I remember at that event, we weren't engaged yet. So I remember we went home. He dropped me at my mom's, and then I got a ring. I'm like. <laughs> he said yes, but I still want to go through mm, with wow, this. You wow. know, it makes you objective, by mm, the way. Yeah. I'm getting married, I'm getting married. When you hear the realities of marriage, mm. you enter with such objectivity. Mm. You're like, imagine we are here to stay, mm. regardless of whatever mm. happens. I remember one marriage counselor, doing is a counseling, my objective is to yeah. And of course what he was telling us is this thing is not as everyone thinks. Mm. This is more military because many join but very few finish right? uh, at that particular phase. Like so that. foundational, foundational mm. teaching ya kwanza to ni you know, be exposed to older couples. Yeah. Mm. What are some of the things that you have now? We have a a, prim a premarital uh, experience called not ready k n o t k n o t k n yeah. the knot tying the knot oh, tying so it's called knot. not ready okay yes it's a it's a three months eh? okay three months we take them through a three months uh journey to actually understand but they understand kile muna get into so so it's to cure meat it's good step number one me patana step number two ni do you are you going the right direction yeah and then now taking them through the experience. Mm. Yeah, so in Afghanga time, kuna ale on Achana. I like yeah. the, that council and Asema. It's a win. Yeah. During premarital, it's a win when, people when they separate. separate. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Yeah, because this is to listen to Moja. This ministry, I took a care. Mm. God only to call Kwai ministry. And we would never want to work with a couple knowing that they are making the wrong choice. Mm -hmm. Will be part of the wrong choice. Yeah. And it's very important, even for churches, eh? say through premarital, mm. mm. it's either come on be like if, if they don't spell it out like very clearly, in a manisha, you're part of the your mistake. part of the mistake. The part mm. the, yeah. So what are some of the sessions? Mutraje and the counseling. Jukuna mandu metus na feeling in a joy life. Mm. Most of the times, no one will let us You know, so what are some of the what are some of the sessions? You know, vitwambazo people are told in in, in counseling. So, kuna kuangana different topics. Mm. Kuna kuangana families of origin. Yeah. Eh, Tunaongele about uh, finances. Mm -hmm. eh, that when life happens, actually, to me, to, to me, incorporate up all. Yeah, mm -hmm. communication. Communication. Conflict you know, resolution. Con mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Love language, personalities. Because mm. mm, these are some of the things that actually play a very important role. Mm -hmm. Unapata, yes, people are genuinely meant to be together, but our could communicate. Mm -hmm. Our Jew could solve, could solve my issues. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So just to work with them, it's like a, it's a mentoring mentoring uh, space mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so unapata now like they do it as a group so kuna i remember there's a question will you lisa like how do they what is the what is the accountability mm -hmm. so there's peer mentorship okay if you do it as a group unajua waneza they can look our funny kitu pamoja and then there is now 
vertical mentorship. Since we are a couple that is older than you, because that also really helped us. Mm. Just mm. to tell you where you are. Yes, you don't have to call and call out. You mm. know, the, whatever is going on in your in your relationship. Mm. Mm. So that has really helped. Oh, that's amazing. Mm. Final word. Kituna zambia tum super pale inje. I may fall in love by a town in red light. Mm. What is that one wisdom is Ampatia? Find an older couple. Okay. An objective older couple. Mm. Who are not your relatives. Relatives tend to, because of their love, they tend to be subjective. Mm -hmm. So find an older couple, they'll speak into that relationship. Okay. And when they do listen. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Final word, Kwamandume, when you feel like to me, you don't tell me how to live with my woman. Mm. Yes. Julia, the heart is deceptive above all else. <laughs> the heart don't don't it's not an emotional decision. By yes. Way. It is it is a decision that should be made you make a decision based on the right knowledge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So so don't get married if you've not done premarital counseling. Mm. Wow. It will save your marriage. It yeah. will save your life. Mm. Uh, mm -hmm. Because akuna exit strategy. Mm -hmm. You make sure that you're in this for the long haul. Wow. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. They say that you can break a promise, but you can't break a covenant. That's the consequences true. of a covenant broken are very serious. Mm -hmm. Marriage is not under promise. Marriage is under covenant, and there are blessings tied to that covenant. I also like the concept of, you know, don't just rush into this thing. Marriage is not a career. You must be so <laughs> sure that you are ready, and you must be f so sure that this is the person, and this is the time, and all that. It's very important to honor our parents. Yes, go and honor them. Give them something, what you call dowry. It's very important to honor the government protocols. That is, any time we do a wedding, they sign the certificate. Mm. That, is, that, that belongs to the AG. But the most important thing is very important to invest time preparing for the marriage and not just the wedding. Mazeme kwa tuwa paa sana, kwa tuwa baraka. Najui mm. conversation na tuwezi bandiza. <laughs> but <laughs> tumeyanzisha. Yeah. Do wale wanyo walikuja wakamu stay. Mm. Waneza mwa kufix the foundation. You mm. say something powerful. Sometimes you need to bring the wall down and fix yeah. the foundation. Mm. Yeah. It's costly. Yes. But it's better. Yes. It's better the cost. Because th than, you know, bearing the risk yeah. at, uh, uh, in front and ahead. Mm. And I will tell you, whether a pastor, whether a prophet, whether a bishop, when it comes to the wisdom of marriage, all of us need counseling. Mm. When I was going through marriage, I was going through marriage, I was going through marriage, I was going Bible. So anyone who's outside there, no one, is a, no one is a profession of marriage. All of yeah. us are on a learning process. It's Otherwise, true. thank you very much. This is the Angaza Show. We we'll see you in the next segment, The Crossroads. <laughs> Welcome to the Crossroad segment, and this is where we share the wisdom and the word of the week. When you look at the mystery of foundations, the builders of the biggest building so far in the world, that is Sheikh Khalifa or Balif Khalifa in, the, uh, in Dubai, they say that that building took almost 10 years in construction, six years in building the foundation, and only four years bringing, at, bringing it up. It's one of the tallest. Meaning that you can never grow up if you don't develop roots and shoot downwards. And such is marriage. When you look in the Bible, in the book of Matthew, the Bible says that there were two builders. One built on a strong foundation, which was the rock, and the other one built on the sand. The problem was not what every building faced, because the scripture are very clear. All the buildings were subjected to strong winds, strong rains, and strong storms. But what kept one building standing is because of the quality of foundation. The building that was built on the rock stood and withstood the winds, the rains, and the storms. Biblically, the rains represent the blessings, the storms represent the challenges of life, and the winds represent what I call the ideologies that keep on shifting. When you look at marriages, they are either affected by blessings when you look at marriages, there are marriages that broke because of the winds. Like during the COVID season, that was a serious wind. And there are marriages that broke because of philosophies and ideologies. People are already listening to radio stations and TV stations and programs that portray your wife or your husband as a victim. 
But in these two buildings, what saved the first building was the quality of the foundation. Foundations are very expensive, they are tedious to make, and the mystery of foundation is that most of the foundations are hidden. People see beautiful houses, but what supports the beautiful house is the foundation. And from the Angaza show, anyone that is thinking of marriage, people that are married, remember foundations are very important. When the foundation is wrong, sometimes you have to bring down the whole building to make sure that the foundation is right. Don't be in a hurry. Make sure that you have lasting foundations. My name is Pastor Tim Wangi, and thank you for joining us every Saturday uh, for the Angaza Show. I want to appreciate the amazing crew behind the camera, the technical crew, KBC for giving us this opportunity, and also the All Saints Cathedral for giving us this venue where we record, and also to DJ Taft. May God bless you for the amazing mixes. See you next weekend. May God bless you and work on your foundation. Amen.